Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Hey, watch your mouth, boy. It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. Oh. Jesus! Fuck. Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat and Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. Eat it! 
be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, all of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, boys! Em! Em, I ain't far out! You under the bridge! I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather recovery teams arrived! Let's go! Down the rapids, if you please! They got some boats after us! Nature, you're right, it's a beautiful thing. Juice 
pumping through your glands. My glands are just fine without the crashing train, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. For senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... Perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. Hey. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. Inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! on the line too. Hey Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff. Get back to Los Santos. Just uh give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger is already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit. Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Lester better play it right with that idol.
Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I've been really bad, Doc. But I'm suffering. I mean, I've lost everything that matters. I'm hanging with a maniac who's certain to kill me if the government doesn't do it first. I want my family back. Well, I want them to be different. And me to be different. The world to be different. Obsessing about the things we've thrown away is an easy avoidance technique. Have you acted out in any other ways? I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but the last few days... A lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> you know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner. Howling in the middle of the night? Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well.